Well, the Emerald City is coming to Oklahoma City. It's the Wizard of Oz at the Civic Center Music Hall. The show started Tuesday night. It runs through Saturday evening. Dave Morris here in Oklahoma's video studio. Happy to talk to the stars of the show, the two witches, the good and the bad. I'm going to have to keep you guys separated. I don't know. We're on neutral ground. Yeah. Neutral ground, really. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa Griffith. Yes. And Renee Anderson. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. The show opened Tuesday night last night. Mm -hmm. How'd it go? It it came together. It came together. <laughs> you guys, nobody it, died. You get a, you, that's what I was about to say. You said nobody died. Uh, to, to touch on that point, the mechanics of this is you were saying you actually have one run through on this, which is day of show. Mm -hmm. One run through with all of the elements. Well, like one full on, mm -hmm. hey, here's a, here we go. Yes. With, and so by that, do you mm -hmm. mean full on costumes, effects, flying monkeys, everything? Yes, and orchestra. Okay. Um, yes, anything that you see when you see the show, we only get one run at so that before we night open. Dinners, and then you've got, hey, here we go, fresh out the box. <laughs> yes. Let's make this happen. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And it's a long day leading up to that. We sure. we did a full dress, and then we do opening night. So everyone's tired, so but usually really energetic. In between, do you stay in costume? No. Or no, tear that show. down, take all the makeup off. <laughs> I have, well, I have to get out of my green to get back into so as the Miss Gulch. Okay, so as the Wicked Witch, mm -hmm. you, how intensive is that, the makeup and everything? It's pretty intense, yeah. but we've got some amazing crew, makeup, costume. That's, I want to say that first. Like Our crew in this show, this show could not happen without them. So well, if they get... Let's give people some more props here. How's director, <laughs> choreographer, crew, behind the scenes, how are they? Amazing. Yeah. The unsung heroes. I mean... They're just <laughs> as important, if not more important, than we are yes. <laughs> at times. Yeah. Uh, just like your show, your crew. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So it's, uh, they're working as much magic backstage as we are. Absolutely. So last night went well, and, and again, the show runs through Saturday. Tickets available. Uh, you can find that information at lyrictheaterokc.com. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about you guys. How did you get involved in theater? What took you to this point? Well, actually, when I was a small child, I watched the Lawrence Welk show every Saturday. Like the bubble-making <laughs> yes. Lawrence Welk? <laughs> Which is, it's, that's a beautiful thing, because now I enter the stage on a bubble. Perfect. So, <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Um, which led to watching the old movies on the OETA Movie Club, and they always played... Like B.J. Wexler and his popcorn. Yes, yes, exactly. They always played those MGM <clears throat> musicals. And so I fell in love. I fell in love with it. Well, those were pretty intense. And a lot mm -hmm. of those, if you go back and look at it, it's a one-take scene. Yes. Uh, one camera, one mm -hmm. take, everything. And you're like, mm -hmm. wow, how did they pull that off? Yes, there's so much magic that there's happens a lot of in those movies. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so you're from Oklahoma City, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, OCU. You Flip it, UCO. UCO. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Take a stab in the dark. <laughs> Always a bad move during an interview to throw out a school name. <laughs> oh, no, bad. It's alphabet soup, as uh, we call it. That's true. <laughs> Uh, and you, what's your path to the stage? Uh, as a child, um, are there I bubbles involved? <laughs> <laughs> Just champagne. <laughs> yes. um, not as a child, of course. Not, of course. Never. Never. Can't condone that. <laughs> the witch coming out. Um, <laughs> the bad witch. She's, uh, she's about to drop a house on me for asking yeah. stupid questions. Nope, that's, that's me. My, no, that's, that's her. her. Okay. And that's my sister. <laughs> Yes. Um, <laughs> the Sound of Music was the first show I did as a kid, and then The Wizard of Oz, I believe, was my second show. I uh, played a munchkin in a local production. I grew up in Edmond, and I went to OCU, so okay. I'm from here, and just, you know, got bit by the bug. How are the munchkins in this show? They're fantastic. And how many munchkins are there? I was looking at the... Uh, 28. Yeah, there's like a, over two dozen munchkins in this. Yes. 28. Yes, yes. They're, they are wonderful, and we also have a um, young performer coordinator also called a child wrangler child wrangler two three yeah. we have three actually yeah, i was like we've got more than one <laughs> <laughs> takes many um who keep them where they're supposed to be so that they're not just wandering about so and backstage or back of house they're uh, mm -hmm. they're wrangling cats hurting, yes hurting yes cats. yes, cats. yes. Yeah. yes. but, but the, the munchkins are they're so talented and um i can't imagine being on that stage that young in the civic center it's huge and it's intimidating and they just live they live, they live in it. Yeah. I'm guessing this excited. is not your first time on the Civic Center stage, maybe, you know? No. Right. I've done a handful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been on there plenty. Yeah. <laughs> What's, is this different for you going from Munchkin to Witch? Yeah, definitely. I've never asked that question, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we were interviewed recently, and um, I played Dorothy in high school, so it's like, oh, I keep hitting, 
each mm -hmm. one. I don't think I'll play Glinda, but... Um, <laughs> You put the pink. Well, you know, I'm getting there, but uh, it's it's a different process. It's um, with our du we each do dual characters in the show, mm -hmm. so playing somebody different, and then it's complete costume and wig and makeup change, and it's it's mm -hmm. it's very quick for both of us. Mm -hmm. um, somebody mm -hmm. last night asked me about 20 minutes. You've got to do that. I was like, no, like it's about it, for me, it's about five to six minutes, and mm -hmm. that's complete. So how do you do the mindset change? Completely character switching gears. Um, I, well, first I have to calm myself down because if I get flustered, it, it'll just pan I'll go into panic mode. But um, there's, I mean, there's a little bit of gulch in, in the Wicked mm -hmm. Witch and vice versa. So mm -hmm. not a lot. There's an inflection in the voice change, definitely. Mm -hmm. But they kind of have to be similar, so you know that those mm -hmm. characters are. The same, kind of yeah. like the movie, or just like the mm -hmm. movie. So yeah, absolutely, I think it's a big voice thing for me. Also, it's just finding there, there, and there are some, and I've been noticing the more we do it, I hear more similarities between my voices of Anne M and Glinda. Mm -hmm. um, but finding her dialect is what really helps me switch from one to the other. How is that crown? So it Large looks massive and heavy. Yeah. And was that? <laughs> Was that tough to kind of, okay, got to work on the balance here? Um, a little bit. Actually, we had to redecorate the bubble a little bit because... Back to the bubble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back to the bubbles. Um, because the first time I did it in full costume, I got stuck in the bubble. <laughs> and I couldn't, I, I couldn't get out. My head would not come forward because it was stuck in all of the beads. So um, our props coordinator, Courtney Strong, who's absolutely wonderful, had to... How's that, how's that conversation bit. going? <laughs> Help, I'm stuck in the bubble. <laughs> Pretty, yeah, Pretty basically. Much, yeah. Yeah. So just, just to get straight to the point, yes. I am stuck in the bubble. I'm stuck in the bubble, yes. <laughs> now you, I, I was looking at the Facebook page, obviously you had posted that, the photo of that, but on your Facebook page, you go skydiving, is that right? Yeah, I did that for my, my 40th last year, <laughs> something big. I've always been fascinated with flying. How, Any character how was it? It was amazing. Yeah, I want to go back and like learn how to do that by myself. Yeah, I don't have much of a bucket list, but that would be on it. And I'm frankly kind of afraid of heights. Right. I, I would have to be like tackled out of the plane. <laughs> no, it was, it was exciting. It was exciting. I what other fly? What other flying roles have you had? Uh, I've done Peter Pan twice, mm -hmm. and and just this. I think that's the only flying roles I've done. But it's, it's very exciting. But it's scary because mm -hmm. you're only in control of your body so much, and then your flight crew mm -hmm. is is really who's uh, they're flying you, so you're at the liberty. They've literally got your life in their hands. Yes. <laughs> so you can learn how to turn your body or try to shift your weight a certain way, but if they fly you too fast, they're or too low or too high. Or into a piece of scenery, which, which is not which happened, which is not happened in this show. But um, you you can't do anything about that. So, but if it were to happen, it's a bad thing. Well, right. it's, uh, there are worse case scenarios. But um. so for uh, people coming out to see the show again, it's at the Civic Center Music Hall this week. Uh, there's a flying witch. Uh, what else do we have? Tornadoes. We have flying monkeys. With flying monkeys. Flying monkeys. Tornado. Fire. Mm -hmm. she, she, she shoots a fireball. I shoot fire while flying. Yes. Nice. You, you know, yeah. just showing off a little bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's terrifying. The first time we did it, they were like, no, we're just going to go out here and do this. I was like, <laughs> how do you do that? I, I, I have to melt through a, you know, through, through magic. That's <laughs> Fair enough. A, little, a little terrifying at times <laughs> to make sure I don't fall to my death. Right. No pun intended. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of technical. Things but, to be careful of in the show. Yeah, but it's it's basically the the movie, live with with our own, you know, what everyone has brought to the table for each of their characters. So, um, I'm guessing this is a very nice family friendly. I mean, we're having a lot of fun with this, talking about all the daring adventures <laughs> and stuff. But it's not to scare off the kiddos. It no. is a family friendly. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Lots of kids. We had lots of kids at the show last night. And we have um, a couple of opportunities for the kids to meet characters afterwards. Cool. We have the Dorothy experience where they can actually go up on stage with Dorothy, get her signature, take pictures with her. And then after each show, we also have characters out in the south lobby there to take pictures and do autographs. That's a good idea. We kind of rotate characters 
after each show. So this day and age of the selfies and the Snapchats, it's yes, a good idea. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yes. lots of kids in costumes. Yes, and we had Renee and I cute. both did it yesterday, <laughs> last night, and we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> The uh, Wizard of Oz Lyric Theater's uh, presentation of that, the Civic Center Music Hall, it runs through Saturday. Uh, in fact, there's two performances on Saturday. My final question to you ladies, <laughs> what's the key to a good witch's laugh? <laughs> I think that's for you. You know? I mean, I mean think <laughs> about it. You hear it and you're like, ooh, that was a good witch's laugh. Sometimes there's a good belly laugh in the newsroom, like someone nailed her a good sneeze or something. But in this case, <laughs> A uh, witch's laugh, you know, a good cackle. What's the key to that? Placement. Where the inflection, where to start it. And um, support. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, placement. If, if I don't start off too high, then I don't have enough. So it's like when you're singing the Star Spangled Banner. You know, you don't want to start off too high because yep. you know at some point in that song. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be in bad shape. You're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop talking. This is Renee Anderson, uh, Melissa <laughs> Griffith. Ladies, thanks so much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. We're on the show at the Civic Center Music Hall, through Saturday, ticket information, lyrictheaterokc.com.